Dead or Alive 5 on a tablet? <laughs> All right, let's have a crack at this. Uh, default settings are not very forgiving. The lowest you can go to is 1024 by 768. And as I've clearly demonstrated with this tablet, that's just too high res. So thanks to a clever chap on the Steam forums, there is a mod that you can get to allow any resolution that you want. Uh, it runs through a DirectX 9 DLL hook or something funny. So use it, on a, use it as at your own risk. Ugh, this game is just making me stupid. So I've run this at a Paltry 640x400. Um, so far in menus, it works out okay. But let's see how the game actually performs. Of course, this is not in-game. This is a pre-rendered movie, so... I say... Skip. Yes. Uh, that might as well be pre-rendered. It's hard to tell. Might not be. Might be. This is in-game. Alright, here we go. Ooh. It's not too bad. It's not 30 frames per second. But, I'll be damned, this is work. This is, this is working. Yeah, take that, Zach, right in your groin. Ugh. No shadows. No anti-aliasing. Nothing fancy. Ah, oh, take it. <laughs> Zach. Alright, you're sweaty, we get it. More pre rendered. Skip, please. Hmm. A few days later. Sure thing. <laughs> Why did I pick story mode? Offshore platform. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> New environment. How are we going to go? Ooh, this is struggling badly. I'd say that's 10 frames at best. Maybe nine. Ooh, ha ha. Oh, that's right. Forward and block. My back. I was going with kicks. Get up. Son, come on. Oh, no. Ah, that's right. Eat it, fella. One benefit of slow motion, it makes your timing a little bit easier. Blocking is much more effective, but this is not exactly fun. I have a feeling that this game should be able to run better, but unfortunately there's just no options to make it happen. Hmm.
<laughs> I don't know what that sound was, but uh, it sounded like her stomach just growled as she stood up. Oh, that's mental. Okay, sue me. Find some pants, girl. God. Yeah, you're looking alright. Okay. It's, there's just too much going on. I mean, it runs. Okay. But there's too much physics, there's too much lighting. I'm sure the textures are way too high. Wow. And this is plugged into the battery, so I'm giving it as everything I can, but uh, these complicated environments make it difficult. But it looks very nice on the screen. Okay, let's give this the best possible chance at running well. Let's go to training, free training, follow, and random, and random. Ah, uh, so this has to be it. Best case scenario. Will it perform? Okay. Oh, look at this. See, will that shit in the background turned off? Runs perfectly. Ah, oh, this is great. Take that, Santa. You ain't slick. Presidents once a year. Give him pay taxes. Do you even support our troops? Okay. Uh, let's go back again. It's the most basic level possible. Runs deliciously. I am very happy with that. Let's pick something a little more. Okay, we saw that one, it worked okay. Yeah, this one might be all right. It's just a big open field. What can we get? What can we get? What can we get? Rido and Beeman. Oh, nope. There's too much. Look at those people in the background. Ah, oh, that's killing it. Ah, take that. Okay. Okay, so that one's no good. So we know the boxing ring is mostly fine. That training arena is perfect. What else can we get? There's got to be another one, surely. Mm. Sanctuary. No. Nope. We tried that one home. Okay. Uh, this might be fine. Short draw distance. Why not? Rachel versus Rido. Nope. It's better. But it's still slow. Yeah. Right in the bread basket. Okay, slight character. There's got to be another one, surely. Random, 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 random. Come on, hurry up. Ooh, snow. Mm. 
Will this be the one? Oh! It's better. I'd say this is probably 15 to 20. Estimate at best. Come at me, bro. Uh, it's still slow. It's still looking good. It looks like that goofy training area is the only one that's really going to get you some solid gameplay. Streets, we tried that. You know, it's no good. Flow. Mm. The circus. Ooh, that one was sting. Ah, yes. The temple. Kumo. Rachel again. Okay. You're freezing me. It's still slow, unfortunately. Ah, uh, yeah. And you can't play it. Oh, God, that's violent. All right. This one is no good. I think it might just be sheer luck. Hot zone. Mm, tanks. Scramble. No, I can guarantee that's not going to be good. Zack Island. Okay. Beach dolphins. Nope. But that is beach appropriate wear. Desert Wasteland. Ooh, that might... That might be the one. Let's try it. As for the game itself, I mean, Dead or Alive 5, not performance-wise. Ooh. Uh, it's really, really good. Uh, I love the triangle system. You know. Strike beats... Throw, throw, beats, block, and block, beats, strike. It's, it's very straightforward. And being a cousin of uh, the Virtual Fighter series, it just has that good feel about it. But of course, it being nothing more than just jiggly boobies and ladies who look like they're six year old with 15 year old bodies with gigantic but uh, it's just horrendous it really is just terrible but it plays so good so i make you feel embarrassed in one way but i guess you have an excuse to keep playing it so whatever still alive if you're uncomfortable with bouncing boobies then chances are you're not playing this game lost world mm, let's try this one This isn't... This isn't too bad. Let's see if there's another level. Down you go. Whee! Charlie was... Oh, machines. It's okay. Uh, that one's not too shabby, but it's not 
30 frames per second, and that's what you want out of a fighter, is smooth as frames. Is this smooth? Pfft, nope. Oh, this is... You know what? This one's not bad. Okay, depending on where you look, it's pretty good. Alright, so let's... So when there's depth of field... It tends to hit it... Okay, looking down that way, it's pretty ordinary. Too many objects on screen. But up here... Perfectly fine. Hmm. Okay, so that one's, you know, toss of the coin. Oh, physics objects? Nah, that's not going to work well. That might be the one. Last one. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Come on, come on. Ah, uh, bollocks. Hmm. This is a shame. Actually, no, it's not. It, it is what it is. The real shame is that you can't configure more advanced stuff. Uh, I'm sorry if we could turn down some of the special effects. Get rid of that depth of field. Lighting objects, these sorts of things. If you could strip it right back. It could run acceptable. Ah, another good one. Uh, mostly. Okay, this is pretty good. Okay. Alright, so... Outside of that training ground... There's maybe one or two where it works slightly okay. But realistically, you're gonna be struggling. Let's finish off on the circus. Why not? Let's see if, how this tablet can hold up. Blah. <laughs> well, I think that's going to do it, folks. Dead or Alive 5. There's one or two levels that work okay. One that works spectacularly. I'm just going to go back to that real quick. And just make sure that my tablet isn't being a silly goose. Where was it? It's back over here. Oh. The dojo. Look at that. That is absolutely delicious. That's uh, that's pretty good. I mean, the character models look great. It's responsive. It's not sloppy, and it's all because the backgrounds and the environments are all pretty much stripped back to the most basic element. So, with that in mind, if you really wanted to play this on the go, and you had two PlayStation controllers or Xbox 360 controllers or whatever controller you want. Uh, there's no reason you and a pal can't play in some offline beatdown shenanigans. Just don't choose anything outside of the dojo. Uh, Dead or Alive 5, last round on the PC. The X90 HD from Techlast, Windows tablet. We'll run it. There you have it. Thank you for watching.